progress and problems facing Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders in our area. Today we're wrapping up Asian Pacific American Heritage Month here on Fox 40 News at 11 with a national honor for one man 107 years in the making. The U.S. Navy has just announced that Filipino sailor Telesforo Trinidad will have a U.S. destroyer named for him. He passed away in 1968, but those who've been fighting for him to receive this tribute say that it's something that will live on for him and thousands Thousands of other Filipinos and Americans of Filipino descent who have served in the Navy. Cecilia Guerlain has been leading the effort for Trinidad to get this special salute and now joins me live. Cecilia, we visited about this about a year ago when this kind of honor for Telesforo Trinidad was still just a hope. Now the Secretary of the Navy has made it a reality. How does that feel? It feels great because it's a validation of the long and faithful service by Filipinos in the Navy since 1901, 121 years. And 1915 was when uh, Telesforo Trinidad received his Medal of Honor. So it's it's been a long um, time in, in the making, you know. Telesforo Trinidad was a fireman on the USS San Diego back in 1915 when the boilers on board exploded and killed nine people. Remind everybody what he did next. So what he did, and, and you know, if I remind people that working in the boiler room, when the boiler explodes, everything stops. It is dark, and uh, it's, uh, so, so to go there to, to explosion, after the explosion, he saves one uh, fellow fireman, takes him out, but, on, but he goes back, despite some burns on his face, and saves another person. So he saved two uh, mates, and uh, for that, he received the Medal of Honor. That is uh, just wonderful. Quite a heroic feat, uh, especially during uh, peacetime. Exactly. The kind of Arleigh Burke class guided destroyer that will have Trinidad's name is often referred to as the backbone of the Navy's surface fleet. Cecilia really seems fitting that that is the kind of vessel that will bear his name. Yes because it would reflect his heroism. It would also uh, inspire um, future uh, uh, Navy, uh, enlisted Navy people to, to aspire to what uh, Telesforo Trinidad did. And that heroic acts are not limited to times of war. It also happens every day uh, during the performance of their work. Now you mentioned in addition to this honor with the destroyer being named for him, he's the only Filipino in the U.S. Navy history to receive what other major recognition? Uh, he received the Medal of Honor in uh, 1915, but there are other Filipinos in the U.S. Um, Army who received the Medal of Honor, Jose Calugas and Jose Nisperos. But he's the only Filipino in the U.S. Navy and uh, I, I want to remind people that Filipinos, uh, for most part, have been represented uh, the largest number of uh, the largest percentage of foreign born recruits in the U.S. Navy. Today is the last day of AAPI Heritage Month. What do you want this achievement to say to Filipinos, to Asian American Pacific Islanders just from coast to coast? What do you want them to take away from this? that um, Asian, AAPI, Asian American Pacific Islanders, have served in the U.S. Armed Forces, not just in the Navy, but in the U.S. Armed Forces. And, um, you know, they, they have worked hard and worked loyally and faithfully to serve this country. Uh, and this is so uh, significant, especially nowadays when we have Asian hate. Uh, we need to know that Asian American Pacific Islanders have served this country and uh, it serves as the backbone of uh, the U.S. Armed Forces. All righty. Thank you so much. And congratulations again to you. You've been working on this for many, many years. So I know it's just been a delight for you to see this come to pass. We appreciate you. Thank you to all. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yes. Now,